Simon reporting for Katie Chats at the Toronto Arts Foundation Awards in downtown Toronto. I'm here with Ryan Scott and Jennifer Waring from Continuum. How does it feel to be nominated for a Toronto Arts Foundation Award today? Well, it's a, it's a great honour and, and it's a surprise too. We were really touched. Uh, we were nominated by uh, uh, some active members in the new music community, Matthew Fava from the Canadian Music Centre and composer uh, Monica Pierce of Toy Piano Composers who also works at the Music Gallery. They told us that they, were, they thought of us for this award and that they wanted to nominate us and, and we were deeply honoured by that and then very surprised to learn that we've been shortlisted and here we are today. Well, all the same. Um, it's, we've been around for quite a while, but uh, we always think that, that we're new on the, on the scene in spite of that. And so it's sort of a surprise when you uh, are put together with the other people who are here. And tell me a little bit about your musical process. I know you use so many different instruments. Uh, where do you begin when you're about to create a piece? Well, we're not composers, we're the uh, artistic directors of Continuum and we commission composers to write for the ensemble, which is, we have a core ensemble of flute, clarinet, violin, cello, piano and percussion, but that's varied enormously from project to project. Um, but those are our dedicated uh, member, uh, ensemble members. Uh, Ryan is a percussionist in the ensemble and has been for quite a while. Yeah. Yeah, so we're, an, we're a presenting organization and we program the concerts and we have theme-based concerts often. But one of the directions that Continuum takes is uh, we really search out actively composers who are experimenting and who are dreaming. They're not just um, repeating themselves over and over and over again. Uh, and we also seek out musicians who are at the, at the, uh, at the top level who can play literally anything. Uh, but are also very committed to the ideals of the composer and realizing those ideals. And where's the best place for us to find out more information on Continuum online? Uh, well, it's at our website. Um, it's Continuum Music, all one word, dot org. And we have a YouTube channel, uh, which you can ac access through our website or just Google Continuum YouTube and you'll find. Yeah, in fact, for the last three years, uh, all of our concerts have been recorded in high definition, in high quality audio, uh, with a three camera operation by a uh, uh, National Film Board uh, uh, film uh, person named Gary Popovich. And he puts everything out and we put it up on our YouTube channel. And then if you're, you know, either sign up to our mailing list uh, through our website, continuummusic.org, or through Facebook or uh, Twitter, other social media, you can find out what we're up to. Thank well, you. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. thank you. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto. Great. Great. And can we just get a few photos as sure, well? Yeah, Perfect. Thank you. We'll just do, oh, just sorry. Yep. We're just going to take a couple photos. Right, okay. And then we yeah, yeah. introduce you to Mark Sermon, the CEO of Mozilla Firefox. Oh, amazing. That's so cool. I use that all the time. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, I agree. <laughs>